So, willkommen zurück zum Stanley Parable. Wo ich keine Ahnung habe, wie viel wir noch machen können und was hier noch alles abgeht. Wir haben ein bisschen Loot, die Deluxe Content noch letzte Folge uns angeschaut. Und jetzt sind wir wieder hier. Der Sprecher macht wieder nicht weiter. Das ist ja Bildschirm aus, tatsächlich. <laughs> new, new content. When Stanley came to a set of two oh, open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Da war direkt schon auf. Guter Song. Könnte auch aus dem Sims-Teil sein, ne? Ja. Hm. Ich habe so irgendwie ein anderes Ding erwartet. Ja, er hat aber keine Lust. Ja, er hat nicht an allen Stellen Lust. Das fällt nämlich gar nicht, weil ich jetzt nicht auf die Etage. <lacht> Können wir nicht. Na ja, doch, jetzt kannst du nach oben. Stimmt, ich kann zurück. Ups. Never mind. Stanley actually got back into the elevator and went back up. Silly me. Why did Stanley do that when he knew that it would just lead back to his boss's office? Well, that's a great question. I just can't wait to find out. <laughs> Here we are, Stanley. It's your boss's office. Exactly the way it was before you got onto the elevator. It's still just exactly what it is. What a decision you've made to come up here and look at the office again. This has fleshed out the plot of the story in new and fascinating ways I could have never anticipated. It's that keen eye for storytelling that you have. An incisive rapid fire of critical plot points, one after the other, weaving a rich tapestry of uncompromising narrative. Wow. <laughs> I'm bolted to the edge of my seat. Für eine Hauch Sarkasmus. Du weißt genau, was du tun ist, ne? Wieder hochfahren. Ja. Incredible. Now he's getting back into the elevator and going down again. Ladies and gentlemen, how does he keep coming up with all of this? Also für so den Tod fallen, also. Did you think we were going to go forward down the spooky corridor? No. It's time once again to go back up in the elevator. I can't even begin to grapple with what might be up there. Is it the boss's office again? Or what if it's the boss's office this time? The suspense is killing me. Oh, 
boss's office. This absolutely changes everything for me. Give me a time out here for a minute while I process this. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm prepared to embrace this stunning revelation and to move forward with... No! No, wait! No! I need more time to process. <laughs> Den Bildschirm bräuchte ich öfter im Leben. <lacht> einfach wenn man nicht mehr weiter weiß, einfach den kurz abspielt. All right. I have fully come to terms with it. I have made space in my world view for this astonishing new reality. As before, I turn to your expert eye for gripping narrative, Master Stanley. Ja, krass. <lacht> Ach ja. Of course. Going back down in the elevator. Ich kann nicht zurück. I not anticipated. I mean, sure now it's all we can work with game in 30 seconds ago, this kind of thing had never been attempted before. I had no frame of reference to even anticipate it. That's just how revelatory Stanley's decision making is. A breath of fresh air in a landscape of storytelling that has grown stale and repetitive. Die Spieleentwickler führen wahrscheinlich, wenn sie Bug testen müssen, weil Spieler wieder irgendeine Scheiße bauen wollen, anstatt das Spiel zu spielen. Jetzt ist er sprachlos. Ist vorbei, jetzt hat er keine Idee mehr. Ah. You know what? I've just thought of something. Hold on, let's stop for a moment. Don't you realize? It's your anticipation, Stanley. Und du dachtest, er hat We have no way of knowing what will be at the top of this elevator. But the suspense, the agony of waiting and anticipating and having to guess, that's the real thrill. Oh, I simply don't want to let that feeling go. It's so precious, so fleeting. Why don't we take this elevator ride nice and slow? There we go. Isn't this so much more exciting? You know, Stanley, it seems like nowadays the only thing that audiences want is to be shocked as loudly and frequently as possible. They want big, explosive moments flung right in their faces from the very moment that things get started. But where's the tension? Where's the trust in the audience to build a slow and nuanced appreciation for the story? The characters? Why aren't we given time to imagine the surprises? To have to think and to anticipate and then to marvel at the eventual reveal. This is storytelling, Stanley. What you and I are doing right now. This is the most exciting narrative to be developed in years. And it's really all it. because of you. You're the one who took this bold step of revisiting the exact same locations over and over. Truly, I mean it. This is unique and different. It's not like anything else out there. You see, I want stories that surprise me, Stanley. I want to have to think. I want to be engaged and not pandered to. We're being fed such unimaginative drivel all the time and we all know it, which is why we're mm -hmm. so starved for content boy. that makes us feel sharp and vital and alive. That's why people like you so much, Stanley. Because you're not afraid to spit in the face of tradition. You're a role model, you know? People look up to you. Which is why... Oh, I didn't know when to spring this on you, but, well, I've gathered a little press conference for you. <laughs> So that you can talk about your work and your storytelling and your life. Yes, I know you're not much for the public eye, but I thought it would especially mean hey. a lot to the people who have been following you from the beginning. They really look up to you, Stanley. I don't know if you realize the impact you have on them. This is the kind of gesture that might leave a tremendous impact on them for the better. Okay, oh, hi, dear. okay the room where we're holding the press conference should be just around the corner here somewhere. How oh, is it the pyramids? The guy who went to Mars. All eyes on Stanley, live on stage. I 
<lacht> das verhält Friedensbaby. Hier ist es, just through this door. Kuhn, ey. <lacht> Extended the crate. Alright, are you ready? I've told oh, them awesome. you're going to speak a little bit about the nature of surprise in storytelling and what it means to craft a truly unpredictable narrative. Oh, don't worry. You'll do great. Just be yourself and speak from the heart. I'm, I'm really proud of you, Stanley. Okay, it looks like they're ready for you. Go get them. Number punkt Doc. Stan reads all his new book. I love the way you write elevators. <laughs> <laughs> this is all. Remember where you came from, your co workers. The other are sind. <lacht> der Mann, der den Fast die drei Wochen mit Ritter gefahren ist. Mein Screen. Even now, Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting or a photo? He could no longer recall. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh, two. Sunset. So before we do new content, we should have something else. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Was steht eigentlich ein neuer Satz? Nee, okay. Here's the door, just go. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life 
utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So, ich mach's den Schüler an, aber wir suchen noch was. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are said to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments ah, until the bomb goes yeah, okay, off. But what order. precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other okay, times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be okay, even on, better. On, game, interesting. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put <laughs> some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But do you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a <laughs> Ten? A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb <laughs> show each time <laughs> you fail. Just you and me, the glitching explosion of fire and metal, over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. 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 And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. 
Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All the part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Boom. Boom. Ich glaube, den Satz hat sich aber, wie gesagt, ein bisschen angepasst. Das ist schon mal interessant. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had das simply missed a moment. Das normal. Das ist okay. Hm. Ah, ich sie anschauen. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Was mit der Tobi jetzt? Jetzt ist er auf Hunting Spur. Jetzt will er es wissen. Aber in der Spieler kommen noch keine Rechner mehr. Aber doch ziemlich viele sogar. Oder ist Solitär offen? Ich wollte eigentlich schon mal schauen, ich gehofft, dass jetzt der PC halt dieses Presse Button hat und da habe ich drei von fünf, aber keiner von denen hatte leider eins. Ah, komm ich mal. Oh, gut. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. But this is the same one. I don't know. I'm confused. Let's go here. Let's see. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities, it could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Day back, two doors. <laughs> Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. <laughs> game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Die Kurs ist gut. Portal 2, Hafer 2, Bettenarkam, Asylum 2, ist klar, komm, City. Der Video Original sind 2, Du 2, Alien 2, <lacht> Dark Souls 2. War es halt einfach gut. Ich 
Überall die zwei jetzt, ey. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Von das ist the name of the player that is playing the game. <laughs> For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. <laughs> so with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? Two pictures more, that's right. <laughs> so, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim, sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. Ich bin voller Jim, eh? Big Jim. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see, what a thrill, what a rush, that was you, the button described you, do it again, do it again. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time, <laughs> if this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable uh. 2, it would still be worth the money. Let's take a break from the gym button, I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Otherwise, soon Jim. you'll start to lose Jim. all sense Jim. of who you are. Nein, nicht der Jim button. Nein. Oh, man, ey. Wie fühlst du dich so, Jim? Richtig, mitgenommen, ey. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable too. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. <laughs> as long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say mm -hmm. that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightly <laughs> more attractive as a person. The benefits right. of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. Respect. 
Das steht jetzt Bande, der ist jetzt sehr schlimm. Most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. What would you go with? Uh, schwierige Entscheidung. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Ganz wichtige Gratulation, aber Tobi, ich muss da mal los. Jawohl, hast du den Rest mal. alleine? Du hast ja jetzt den Eimer, der mich ersetzt hat. Mach das hier noch fertig, äh, der, den Ark, ja. ja. Ja, du und der Eimer, ihr schafft das. Richtig, du beruhigst Eimer. Alles klar, dann viel Spaß mit dem Eimer. Ja ihr da draußen, ne? Ich gehe jetzt los und gehe in meine Halle, wo ich alle Videos von Tobi like, ne? Das macht ihr jetzt auch. Und subscriben und follow und all so ein Kram. Ich kann einfach auch nicht ablegen, oder? Ne. Okay. Guck mal noch, was gibt's denn noch hier so? Hall Guide. Fünftes Map. Free new and easy achievement. Gehen wir da lassen, ist es denn? Get it here. Für die Achievement Hunter. Easy. For the level receive a new achievement, no more steps. It just, it just works. <lacht> ich muss ja sagen, ich finde es. Now, here's sehr something gut. special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. It just works. I'm going to try to sit here. Schön, Spiel wieder gespielt. Ich find's cool. Okay, ich bin mir jetzt hier unter der Lux, weil ich gerne vom Hauptspiel im normalen Spiel schon alles gesehen habe, aber ich nehme mal alles mit. What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Hier den Jump Circle haben wir noch nicht gesehen. You know what? Let's bring the Jump Circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first no. time we saw the Jump Circle. Hmm. Oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. <lacht> Can you find them? Can you find them? Can you find them? Collect them all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward <laughs> for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. <laughs> oh man. Eh? God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. Okay, wir waren noch nicht beim Epilog. Und auch nicht beim Settings World Champion. Nee, beim wir schon uns packet.
An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the... Um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> da Einstellungswildmeister. Nein, so. Hier auf zwölf Uhr. Polski. Oh Gott. Autos klicken, ne? Okay, let's go. Ich hoffe, der Regler gilt auch. Ich zweifle aber nicht, dass ich glaube, dass der geht. Ah ja, kann man das grob machen. Okay, jetzt hatte ich hier, glaube ich, einmal alles durch, oder? Ich weiß es nicht. This, this is the story of a man named. Jawohl. Ich denke, das Meister, da ist es. Was <lacht> habe dieses blöde Fahnenkreuz hier im, im Ding? <lacht> so, okay. Aha! I can see you've gotten the settings world champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting, traveled to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So, just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting, something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider, and that it'll be available from the settings menu. We'll sort the rest of the details out later. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to trying out every level of Bump Scosity in the Bump Stanley Scosity, yeah. Parable 2. Yeah, but the room is only for us. I'm just having a achievement. It's so, okay, now we have to this... Das endlose Loch betreten. Spawned End. Jawohl. Infinity. Knetted Use Only. Just keeps going. Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is in fact a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right, infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Hmm. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Mal gucken, ich mal ein bisschen. Warte mal kurz noch. Ich weiß nicht, was wenn ich länger fahre. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the <lacht> infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. 
I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Oh. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. You found me out, Stanley. I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little <laughs> heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why yeah, I shall be in trouble. All this behind us so you can't follow that. To just call the hole mostly infinite. If that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. So, ich werde jetzt auch nochmal hier kurz. Ich gehe drücke. Wollen ja ein bisschen challengen, den, den Jungen, das Spiel. Das sind die ersten drei Folgen schon den ganzen Macher. Ich gucke jetzt keine Ahnung, wie viel, lang, viel Content dieses, Vol dieses Spiel, wie Folgen bietet. Wahrscheinlich können wir noch auf jeden Fall noch mindestens eine machen. Ich habe noch ein paar Ideen, die wir ausprobieren könnten, aber nicht viele mehr. Deswegen werden wir, denke ich, mal noch eine Folge machen. Ach komm. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Haben da jetzt alle Ideen durch, glaube ich. Jetzt steht hier mostly Infinite Hole. <lacht> nice. Gut, okay, ich glaube, wir haben mal alles gesehen, was es hier gab. In dem Bereich des Spiels. Da wird ein bisschen, also hier wird natürlich ganz offensichtlich mit ein paar Fortsetzungen gedingt, dass man Nummer, Nummer zwei immer braucht für jedes Games Jump Circle, das Map für die Haben wir alles schon mal gemacht jetzt. Na, ja, können wir also gehen. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? Oh, it's getting lost. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. Nice go. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on, let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes, yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go, version two. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all, it's a lot of gags. <laughs> And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they wouldn't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says <laughs> with bold and uncompromising oh, conviction, This is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Krasse. Fancy. 
Jetzt in Rot-Schwarz. Na gut, wir setzen es mit der Art und Weise, oder? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company. Es gibt jetzt aber Mars verschert. <lacht> da gibt es ja den Skip-Button jetzt, hat er ja gesagt. Jetzt hängen die hier wirklich. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Und da ist der Bucket. Oh Mann, ey. Stanley picked up the bucket. Ah, jetzt sollte ich der extra Content Schild hier weg. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still no one was here. Stanley needed the bucket's warmth and comfort now more than ever. Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Oh, Stanley, can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes no, it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, <laughs> but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This uh, is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't okay. it over. No. I can't just... We're getting into name calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty Hello. insults simply in order to get you to hand over the now. bucket? Stanley. I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, <laughs> that your relationship is purely <laughs> superficial and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I follow you. <laughs> Ich wollte gerade nicht gerade die Folge beenden, die du gerade reingeschaltet bist. Okay. Oh Gott. Ich glaube, er macht weiter. Gut. Ähm, das war die Folge. Jetzt werden wir mal gucken, was wir das nächste Mal noch so erleben. Ich würde sagen, fahr Gast auf dich und Fabi an der Stelle. Am Ende noch. <lacht> Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao, ciao. Tschüss. <lacht>